Yeah. So it was about a year and a half ago and I was feeling really exhausted. In fact, that you could say I had symptoms of, uh, of a post viral syndrome, if, if you want to put it in that way. And everything I was doing, nothing was working and I couldn't figure it out. And me being an open-minded physician, you know, I'm, I'm open to trying and, and looking at the literature and translating and, and finding other ways to help the body to restore balance. And the, the idea of enzymes was really a, a whole new concept to me, but I was really attracted to it. So I tried it and it was really that it was that one day cleanse that I did. And all I can say is this is, this was my experience. It was, first of all, it's easy. Okay. Compared to any other sort of cleanse I've ever done. Okay. And it was like the next day and the following days after the way I described it, it was like jumping out of the sickness matrix that I was in. Um, immediately my, my face thinned out. Um, and, I mean, because it was puffy. Okay. So obviously I was, I was inflamed, but it was, it was dramatic. And it was like the lights just turned on in, in my brain. And um, that's when I knew. I was like, you know what? This is a home run. Okay. And not everything is a, a home run that I try. But this rose straight up to the top in my, my list of amazing things that you can do. And especially something amazing that you can do to snap out of a bad situation. Well, that led me to learning about the rest of it um, as far as what enzymes could do long-term and the idea that enzymes are basically breaking down non-living human tissue that doesn't belong there. And that perhaps maybe if you, if I continued this process, it would not only obviously help to heal my gut, getting rid of the things that are, you know, that the body can't get rid of itself, at this point, but also penetrate the body. And perhaps um, there's other things that need to be broken down and gotten rid of. And that to me represented the next level of cleansing or intermittent fasting, something I've done in the past, you know, restrictive diets, um, which were all great, but I never had something that could actually break something down. And, that, and that's, that's what I realize is our problem is we've got a buildup of so much non-living human tissue, or you just call it scar tissue, that the body, even if you do a regular fasting, it's almost like you're beyond the point where your body can get rid of it now on its own. And so you need reinforcements, or in other words, you could say optimize the, you know, we have our own enzymes. So basically you're optimizing the enzymes that you produce and, and what you also consume in regular food in order to help break down that excess scar tissue that has built up beyond the point that just regular diet and exercise and, and being a healthy person can, can do to get rid of that stuff. And that's my story saying, but the reality is that the results uh, speak for itself. But as a, as a board certified physician, I, I mean, I absolutely um, back up this science. Um, if, you know, even when I did PubMed literature searches, um, you can see lots of literature on, on enzymes. And you're not going to find a lot of like most natural approaches to health. You're not going to find the big double blind studies. But when you translate data, you're taking lots of small studies from all over the world and you're finding the commonalities. And at some point, it becomes obvious. And, and that, um, you know, anything that, um, you know, is safe and effective, and is utilizing, you know, foods or components of foods that we already take in. And, you know, there's a tradition behind it, especially Chinese herbal medicine has a long history behind it of safety, you put it together, and you realize, you know what, this is safe. And if it's actually helping, why not? In fact, it becomes a no brainer. And, and, and then at the level that we're at, where we're, we're so sick, 
we need the extra reinforcements. Just regular diet and exercise for a lot of people isn't going to be enough. Unfortunately, it's just not simply enough. In my experience, I mean, do the best you can. But my experience, if you're going to jump outside of the sickness matrix, you're going to need more reinforcements than any other time than, you know, 10 years ago or 20 years ago. I mean, it's a bad, we're toxic. I mean, we are sick and, 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 and there's no reason, you know what, you don't know how good you can feel. That's, that's the big message. So, you know, it's a no brainer. You know, I would tell anybody do the cleanse and tell my, my patients do the cleanse. It's simple. Just do a one day cleanse done so that at least you can, you can feel and, and know what it feels like to actually step up this, you know, uh, in a more dramatic way, how you can feel. Cause you don't know how you can feel if you felt sick for a long time. Does that make sense? And then you can graduate to like the seven day cleanse. Um, that, I mean, that's really, once you, if you can do the first day, you can do seven days. It's to me, it was super easy compared to other cleanses. And then you get this feel even that much better during one of the cleanses I did, you know, I, I, I broke a sweat <laughs> and, um, but it, it was a good sweat. Okay. And it was, it was like, um, and I, I brought it up to Daniel and, um, he knew what I was talking about. Uh, but it was, it was a release of not just a plaque, but it was a, it was a release of, you know, there was emotional release, um, at, at the same time. So, you know, any, I do a lot of blood work on patients, um, specific, uh, maps of their immune system. And you can see how a good word to describe is we're polarized, uh, towards one direction or another in, in different parts of our immune system. And really when I, the more science I study, the more I realize that every function in the body has its opposite. So we really are in a yin yang. And, and when we are not, when we're out of balance, we really are out of, we're, we're stuck. And, and it, what we're trying to do is we're trying to restore balance. And I, I think that's where that release comes from. You know, if it's emotional release, it, I can imagine you, you have certain neurochemicals that have been suppressed and then they're able to open up. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like this, like heavy weight that's lifted off your shoulders. Um, and, and the body will do the rest, but you have to imagine that when you're not right, something is keeping you stuck out of balance in internally. And you can't, you can't get there. And especially if it's scar tissue of, of some sort or something, you know, a plaque in, in your gut. And I don't care if the, the you know, if, if there's controversy in the medical literature, oh, there's no such thing as a mucus plaque and all this stuff. I, I honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore, but, but you, you can see when you do the cleanse that something comes out in the form of a plaque. Okay. And, and this is not new science, but imagine that that, you know, there has to be a reason why you're stuck out of balance. Okay. And there's evidence right there to show you, well, look, you could not, you were blocked up um, in, in many ways in your, in your digestive tract, something was stuck and then you released it plain and simple. And that has a direct effect on, on the brain, especially if that's triggering inflammation and cytokines that are um, causing neuroinflammation, uh, which is causing neurochemical imbalance, which is triggering, um, polarizing the autonomic nervous system towards sympathetic, away from parasympathetic, and then sympathetic uh, overdrive triggers inflammation downstream or even the lack of parasympathetic. And this is, now this is in the literature all over the place. You can, you could find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of evidence to support this, that the parasympathetic nervous system 
the lack thereof activates macrophages, which are our innate immune system in the intestines, in the spleen, and, and triggering those macrophages to release their cytokines and, may, and even trigger uh, T cells, which are our adaptive immunity to differentiate and, and think that they need to fight something. A lot of times they think they're fighting a bacterium and then they send the, the neutrophils to the area, which are very destructive. And then you start to have autoimmunity. Okay. And then you're in a vicious cycle of, of inflammation that's triggering inflammation. And then you've got these battle scars, you know, either in your gut or you're developing other uh, areas of scar tissue within your, your body. And this is my speculation um, about scar tissue and other parts of the body. But, you know, think about if somebody had a really bad pneumonia, which we've heard a lot about that in the past two years, when people go to the hospital, they talk about a very fibrous lung, um, you know, a, an appearance that shows evidence of a lot of fibrous tissue. And these are living, walking, breathing people that are stuck with this fibrous tissue, or in other words, scar tissue. That that's the body's w- the way of healing. But when it does that, it stops healing completely, and you're stuck at that level level of healing. Well, if you can help to remove or to dissolve that scar tissue on a physiological level, naturally, I'm not talking about going in there and scraping it off, although you can physically debride a, a, like a decubitus ulcer on a patient on their skin. And lo and behold, skin will start to grow. New skin will start to grow up underneath. Okay. And and so this is a real phenomena. Well, if you're going to heal your lungs or any part of your body, you need to enhance your body's ability to dissolve that scar tissue so that new tissue can grow up underneath. And, and so um, that's what I'm saying, that you, you know, about breaking these vicious cycles of, of inflammation and, and being in a state of imbalance is you need to remove all of these barriers that are keeping us stuck in polarized towards sympathetic, polarized towards neuroinflammation, polarized towards I'll get fancy TH17 polarization of the adaptive immune system that's triggering an influx of neutrophils and creating a vicious cycle of inflammation and autoimmunity, a chronic immune problem for which the only other way to get rid of it, if you don't do something like this, is to take a medication and that doesn't even get rid of it. It just puts a band aid on it. So we have to have strategies to help our bodies overcome the damage that has been done just simply by the fact that we live in a toxic world. But, you know, that's the science. That's the medical way of seeing it. Okay. That's the, the, the uh, translational medical explanation for what's going on. And Again, from my standpoint, even though this is not meant to diagnose and cure disease, I can tell you that it's safe and effective and it works. Mm. The, the common factor is scar tissue. If somebody has chronic knee pain, I guarantee you they, they've got scar tissue. If they have a lipoma, well, I mean, a lo- lipoma is encapsulated with scar tissue. Scar tissue is always the, the thing that makes it feel like it's never going to go away. And again, enzymes, and these, this is just food. You know, I checked out all these enzymes. They're all enzymes that are in food. You're just getting, um, they're just more concentrated so that you, because we need more work. So we have a more concentrated um, cocktail of enzymes to help us overcome our, our bigger and bigger problems. But a lot of enzymes, they, they're immunomodulatory, they're regenerative. Um, they, they, again, yeah, everything is in enzymes, but that's a big, that's a missing piece of the puzzle for a lot of the integrative medical approaches to treatment. Even when I did uh, 
stem cell therapies on patients in, in safe and, you know, in a safe way that I, I did it, there, some people would, would have results that were, um, you know, sometimes I was a hero and sometimes I wasn't. Okay. And, and that's what caused me to realize, you know, I've got to learn about the other pathways in a more precise way. It's more than just putting one treatment into an area and expecting that one thing to work. It's, it's more of a, it's more of teamwork. It's, it's more of a, a group effort, a cocktail of sort. And even with the enzymes, they're working in concert with other diverse enzymes. Some of them are mushroom related. Some of them, some of them are fruit related and, and they all have different roles. In fact, that's why some of the products are geared more towards if you have more of this, if you need more energy, it's more, you want this cocktail. If you, if you uh, have this issue, you want more of this cocktail. And of course it's based on Chinese medicine and, and, you know, Daniel understands, you know, more in detail, which enzymes make sense for, for which, you know, condition. This is just sort of uh, the way I see it. It's, it's bottling up Chinese medicine and making it simple for people like us.